Hey, what's up everyone? This is Joe. Um, in this video, I am going to show you how to create the st standard deviation for um, team scores. Uh, and I'm going to use the, the this year's stats, the 2021. Uh, you may want to get the standard deviation that kind of shows a range of scoring. Um, I have it for um, my a simulator to, to simulate scores, but you can use it for a wide range of uh, different items. So uh, before I get into that, just make sure to click the thumbs up if you like this video and uh, subscribe and check out the links below for my uh, video course at SpreadsheetSchoolDFS.com and uh, OptimizedLineups.com where I have all my uh, spreadsheet building, lineup building tools. So um, here is where I get the NBA scores. It's on SportsbookReviewOnline.com. Uh, this is just a betting site, but they have, you can export up pretty much up to date. I think it's maybe one day behind of historical scores and it gives you the odds data too, but we don't need it for this video, but I'll make other videos um, with some sports betting. I'll put the link down below the video. So all you do is you go to the site and here's the link for 2021. You're going to click on it and then I'm going to open it. Okay. So we've got all our, um, these are all the games. Here's the date. Um, Here's the venue, home or away, the team, by, and there's a lot of extra stuff. Here, like, here's the odds. First, for this video, we don't need to know all, the, all of this. All we want to do is we're going to create three tabs off of this. So I'm going to get them set. So one I'm going to call this is home. One I'm going to call this uh, away. Oops. And then one is going to be just a summary. So I'm going to take all the teams and copy them over to the summary and paste them here. And then if you go to data, remove duplicates, this little button right here. And it'll take, get rid of all the duplicates. And then I'm just going to sort them. Looks like they got a couple like here, LA Clippers, LA Clippers, um, Oklahoma City. So the data would need to need to be cleaned up a little bit in order to I don't know why it, it, it's like that. You could really once you do this you could just co combine them. But anyways, so here's home standard deviation. Here's the way, and we're gonna just summarize it. But first we got to get the data onto the home tab and the away tab. So all I'm gonna do is put a filter on here, and we're just gonna have the home game. So these are all the teams that were at home. I'm just going to just copy it over to the final score. Pasting it in. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need this. Or you could leave it. It doesn't really matter. And then now we're going to do the same thing, but for away. So I'm going to copy that, this over. Okay, so now we've got all the teams and the scores, and now all we need to do is just create a standard deviation off of each um, column, and we're uh, set to go. So I'm in home right here, so I'm going to do equals stdev.p for the standard deviation, and then we're going to make our if statement, if parentheses, and where's the test? So we're in we've got the home tab, and we're going to look at the teams. So if this column equals this name, in this case it's Atlanta, then what are we going to look at? We want to look at these final scores. I put two parentheses, then control shift enter. And there we go. There's our, now it's going to copy comments and take a few seconds to catch everything. And then we'll have all our standard deviations. Uh, it looks like it's still calculating. I'm just going to format this to make it a little more readable of a number. There, see now we have all our standard deviations for the home game. Now we'll figure out a way. So it's equals stdev.p. And the same thing, if, parentheses, but now we're looking in the away teams. If this equals a2, which is Atlanta, then we're going to look at 
is cell. Two parentheses, control shift and enter. And there we go. Now I'm just going to double click to copy it down or however you copy it. It's going to take a few seconds to calculate. I'm going to format it. And there we go. We've got our standard deviation from home and away. And then you can use this to, I mean, when you, I like, for, you could put it into my, the simulator that I have, for the NBA simulator. I put a link to it, that down below also, um, that simulate game scores. And this is a big feature of it, um, because it's showing the, the standard deviation. So it's showing the, the range, the range of s scoring outputs. So, um, that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you how to calculate the home and away standard deviation. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Click a thumbs up and check out all my links again, spreadsheetschooldfs.com for my uh, video course and uh, optimizedlineups.com for a whole bunch of uh, lineup building tools in spreadsheets. Uh, thanks and have a good day.